guys. Happy Monday. Is today Monday? What is today? Because I honestly don't know. Monday, July 2nd. So, happy early 4th of July to all of you. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Remember, fireworks are not always the best route to go. So, um, what did I want to tell you guys today? I don't remember. Oh, I'm very, very nervous about going to this EDMR therapy. It's where I already told you guys about it, and I'm just... <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do this. It's, it's scary. It's taking me completely out of my comfort zone. And it's just very, very, very scary. So I'm trying to avoid it, but I'm not going to be able to. So this is it's, it's a must. So I must do this in order to get my brain back working right. So, I don't know. Some good things came today. Very good things. Well, it's only 100 degrees today. It's not 120 or 10. And then, alright, I started working on this for Ouija Boot Campers and for my shop. So, those little pendant backs I was telling you guys about, they came. So, I w actually let me get a regular one and show you guys. So, I think this is going to be a really cool, very neat idea. And I think you guys are going to really like this because this is going to give me more room for creativity. So, I ordered what I thought were a lot bigger. They're mirrors. They're antique silver. And they have a gorgeous, I mean, I don't know what that is, but it's just a gorgeous back. So, pendants, they're pendant trays. So I thought my bigger oval organ pendants would go in there. No, I didn't realize how tiny these were. So these are for the tiny, I will be creating tinier versions of the organ ones the teardrop kind of shaped one. So I'm gonna get a big tray of just those. So for the tiny organ ones, these will come in bigger sizes. I will find bigger ones. And they are so nice. It is literally real silver. It's real sterling silver antique. Don't know how I came across these for the price that they were. So I'm very excited. So much creativity can go into these. So this is what the new pendants will be coming on. If I can get this back in its bag. So I just started. I don't know if that's going to move. No, it's not. So here is... Is it going to move? No. There is one tiny organ pendant. And it's still drying on the sides. And the good thing about this is that the sides leak. On the, um, the glue that I use it doesn't run over so I can add different um, I really really think that the salt water the fresh salt water pearls that I have um, on the Zsa, Zsa Gabor and my Gani, my grandma's uh, channeled uh, key necklace I think that would be a really good uh, addition to all of these so I love freshwater pearls so there we go these are how they're going to come from now on so and with the mirror, it's going to reflect. So you're going to get even more energy. And it's just going to amp up the, the ante with the organ. And I just, I love this. I think that is just a wonderful idea. So yeah, the backs are all the same. How, cu how cute is that? So these are going to be up in the shop later on tonight. When I get back from this very odd therapy. So yes, love these, so cute, so cute. So yes, I think these will give more of a, just a classier look to them, a classier look, which is really, really what I want. So I just, I really like that. And that glue dries clear, so there's no, you know, no mess, no gunk. So yeah, that, that came today, very excited about that. Um, now, um, how far, how, how are we doing in, in Ouija? 
how are we progressing? Um, I gave you guys an essay to just a small paragraph, um, how you guys feel, how you have uh, progressed in uh, Ouija. So, the Ouija Boot Campers, um, that is your assignment for today. So, hopefully you guys have, you guys are really progressing really well. Um, the Ouija book is actually almost done. So, I have a six week deadline. Um, I'm not going to go into the details, but um, a certain person, someone's from uh, Amazon, contacted me and they liked what I wrote. I can do better is what they said. So that's why literally they sent one book back to me that I have to read it. I'm not going to tell you which book it is. It's not the traditional, or it's not the modern guide to witchcraft. So I have to really, really start to like check proofread and all that stuff. and. I have to really remember back in uh, high school all the computer classes that I took. So I have got to apply all that knowledge again to uh, the book. Um, so I've sent them so far what I have written for um, Ouija, the Ouija book, and they love the idea. Um, it's something that they've never seen before, and I'm very excited. I'm very excited about that. So that will be, I mean, I, that's just a huge window of opportunity right there. A very big one. So, and then the Ouija documentary. Um, I have somebody in my hometown that is going to work with me on this project. I've emailed a few people um, about being in it. Hopefully I get a response. It is, it is. It's only five to ten minutes. Little interviews. I love you too, please. No, you guys are busy. I know that. I completely understand. So it's if it's no, then that's perfectly fine. I will still love you. I'll love you even more for a no. If I get a no, I will love you even more. If I get a yes, I'll love you just the same. So hopefully this will come about. Um, I have a few more people to email and pitch my idea to. It was very short, I'm sorry, um, if it was very short. But I know that some people are very busy uh, working on films and uh, their own projects, and so I just think that would be a really good compliment, complimentary to the entire film. So, um, that's well underway. Um, so yes, I'm very excited. Lots of stuff's happening, lots of stuff's happening. So the books and everything will go out tomorrow. Um, I'm still, I'm, I just, I don't feel right from the heat. I feel just I, I dizzy, confused, just kind of, from this heat, it's, it's ridiculous. <sighs> so yes, um, they'll go out tomorrow. So yeah, I, I, I really do think I got some, a bit of heat stroke. Uh, so yeah, I call that the devil licking my ass. It's a little bit of heat stroke. So, it's nothing bad, so I'll be fine. So, don't worry about me. But, okay, today, um, I plan on live streaming that candle. Mm, you guys can't see it. So, um, a very good friend of mine has an invisible illness that I want to help. So, any kind of, uh, just prayers, love, energy, that you want to pour into that candle, just do it. Um, I won't be here to comment or anything, so it'll be a, probably be a good two hour long video of just the candle. So you guys can come on, you guys can leave your, your comments, um, all that kind of stuff, your prayers, um, just like, you know, thinking good thoughts. So just, just enough uh, positive energy more positive energy, what I mean, is not going to hurt. It's going to help, so. And I know I can count on all my Ouija poppers to, to help a fellow Ouija popper. So, that is in the works. Everything is in the works, and it's just it's working. It's going good. It's strange. It's very strange that everything is going so well. What's going to happen? What's going to happen now? 
so no, I'm not worried about that. But yes, the book is going really good. I'm very excited. So I have a six week dead six week deadline to get this book done. To get an entire book done. How do I do that? But I will do that. So um, it is under contract now. Um, I have signed with one specific publishing company. And yes, very excited. Yesterday um, I went to Starbucks and we had a small book signing. Um, the people that showed up, I had no idea that people would actually show up. And the people that did, um, I really like it. With the moms, they, they come and they, com you know, they compliment me and tell me, you know, I look very pretty. Uh, thank you. I, I love that. And it was really good to see those people from school that I, you know, I mean, we, we speak on, you know, Facebook, but it was so good to see those people from school and just feel that support for my, my work. And it was just, it was so incredible. So, um, I have ordered, um, the love letters from Lucifer for, um, certain people. Um, so this, the sale thing, uh, is still going on with, uh, the, the book, my, uh, Love Letters from Lucifer for $10. So, um, take advantage of that before, um, I get in trouble or caught. So, I, I don't know if I should, could, should, can legally be doing that. So, take advantage of the Love Letters from Lucifer while you can. Um, so every, yes, so yes, if, if you're into that kind of thing, by all means, big time take advantage of it before I don't know what will happen if they find out. So, hopefully nothing bad, I don't think anything bad would happen, but then again, I, I'm not 100% sure, I, I'm not 100% sure on what would happen if they found out that I was doing this through my website. Um, so just take advantage of that while you can. Um, what else? Yes, you guys, it's just the ideas that we're pitching back and forth with the Ouija boot camp and um, I have an idea for t-shirts now. And just something very special for you guys when you're done, when you're done with the group. Or not the group, but when you're done with this course. So, um, late July early um, August, I will be doing a new Ouija bootcamp sign up. So, and then uh, the next group of, of people, of students, will get everything that this group of students has gotten. So it's just, it's going to be really fun. I really like this. I really want to take this further. Um, and if I could get over my anxiety of speaking in front of people, like a very large audience, I would love to take this out, out of um, just a small area and go bigger with it, and go a lot bigger with the course, like a workshop. Um, so that's, you know, long off in the future, way long off in the future. So, um, Rosemary, um, I will email you. I have some ideas. Um, I do now. I have the funds. Um, so I can actually fund. If you, if you want to, you don't have to. If you want to uh, help contribute to this, uh, since you did come up with this idea and I'm running with it, I took it from you and I'm running with it. <laughs> um, if not, you're, you don't have to. But if you want to help and contribute, you can, but you don't have to. Um, I think I can pull off uh, what, I, what I'm visualizing. Uh, by the time the course is over. So, um, for the Ouija Boot Campers, I need your shirt size. Give me your shirt sizes. Uh, UK? Lou? I don't know. I don't know how sizes run over there. So, um, I, I don't know. Uh, just small, medium, large, extra large. I think that's probably about, is, you know, the major, the, you know, major grouping, uh, and then you have, you know, your women's sizes, which is even more complicated. It's, it's like petite and just da-da-da-da-da. So just let me know, you know, your guys' measurements. Um, I, 
I, I vaguely remember doing measurements for uh, bra fittings when I was at um, Casey Penny. Um, I do know my clothes. I do know my clothes though. So I do know my sizes and I can just eyeball you and I can tell what kind of shirt that you're going to be able to wear and pull off. So they will be 100% cotton. I'm just having a sneezing attack. They will be 100% cotton. And they will be black. So, I love black. I'm sorry, guys. If you guys have another suggestion, we have a while. So let me know. Let me know your guys' thoughts and ideas on that. And this is specifically for Ouija boot campers. If it goes really well, um, and people want these kinds of things, apparel, then by all means, I will start a GoFundMe or something in order to get this project started and in order to fund the entire thing. So, me and you, Rosemary, we can start to sell that apparel. So, you said that you were going to get busy painting? Okay, I, I take that as a very good sign. I like that. But I think that I can do, for the Ouija Boot Camp, definitely, I can definitely fund this project for us. So, there's four of us. Yes, there's four of us. So, yes, I can fund that, definitely, definitely. Uh, Lou, I, I checked shipping for, I didn't get your, your, your parcel today. I didn't. So it, it will be tomorrow. It's the holidays. It's crazy here in the United States because in two days it's the 4th of July. So two days and we have the 4th of July coming up here in the States and I know it's, you know, a big deal and I don't think it is, but it is. I don't like the fireworks. They trigger me. They, I just, I get triggered and my anxiety kicks in and I start to have small seizures. So it sucks. So yeah, it's lots of new stuff. Lots of new stuff. I can't wait to get home tonight and just create and just go at it and just start creating with all of these. I'm waiting for this thing to dry. So yes, I really like how thick, how thick of a base we're getting here. I think that is incredible. So once that dries, that will have that silver mirrored backing. So it will reflect, I feel, in my gut, that it's going to make it even more, more powerful, because of the silver. And that's just my opinion, so don't, you know, quote me or anything. But yes, that is just my little opinion on that. So yes, lots of new stuff is going to be happening, you guys. Lots of new stuff. I can't wait to get this documentary done. It's going to be, I think it's going to be great, especially for the people that use the Ouija the way we do, for the better, instead of, you know, all this negative hoopla, boo, boo, hoo, ho, hocus pocus crap. Um, we, yeah, every, every video, every documentary, every ghost story, ghost adventures, always focuses on these main topics, and I don't like it. So I'm going to change that. For the better. For the better. So yeah, I just think it's going to be a really cool, a cool new adventure for all of us. And I want, if you guys, if anybody on my channel has a positive Ouija story, even if it's not positive, because I really want to start out timeline. So I really want to start out with people's, you know, negative experiences, I want that in there. But I also want the positive experiences. So if anybody on my channel out of 8K, 8,000 subscribers, if any of you have a Ouija story, all you have to do is email me. We can discuss it filming you. Or, if you want, send me ryanjespicah at gmail.com. Send me a 
a very small five to five to ten minute video clip of you um, giving your story. Uh, make it make it professional. Um, it doesn't have to be. Uh, you don't have to. You know. You don't have to dress up and all that stuff. You can do it in your pajamas, for all I care. But just just letting you all know that that is up in the air right now. So um, yes, definitely, definitely taking uh, taking interviews for those that wish to be a part of this documentary. So I think it's going to be great. It's going to be very good. Ouija in modern day pop culture. What better way? It's, it's, we need to shed light on this. We need to get that positive message out there. And we need to get rid of all of the little negative demons that are running around like ants about the board. So that's going to be fixed. So I still don't claim to know everything. I don't. I'm still learning from you guys. New. I learn something new from you guys every single day that we interact, that we talk of Ouija Boot Camp. I always am learning something new. I love it. So I'm still learning too. So that also helps with the book. So. I've just never been on a deadline before. I've never had a deadline like that. I feel like I'm back in school scary. So yes, I, I'm just very excited, very, very excited. Yes, you guys can definitely see the sun blisters now. <sighs> they hurt. It's not fun. Stay cool. Stay inside where it's warm. It's dangerously hot. But yes, all right few more. Let's see. How are we doing with the, the um, morning adorations? Are you guys, have you guys tried that? Are you guys, like, focusing on that? Good. If not, that's okay, too. I kind of wanted to give a little more, just a little tip, some more tips on doing to enhance, just to enhance our, um, what you call it, our, what we are doing, our Ouija boot camp. So, if I can find it, I did have it. Okay. Okay, this is going to help you guys, big time. The instant relaxation ritual. So this is just a, a branch off of the original relaxation ritual where you visualize that orange ball of energy coming up from the earth, going through your body, relaxing you, making you feel great, just totally relaxed, and then boom. So here is the instant relaxation ritual. So this is gonna help you guys immensely. So I'll just give you a really quick um, overview of what this is about. So stress affects us all. Stress, stress can be caused by hearing or reading about politics. Oh yeah. Or econ economics. A job worries, relationships, ups and downs, and other major concerns. It can also be caused by little things such as a phone call that hangs up just as you answer or getting stuck in traffic jam. Although stress affects people more in cities, even living in a rural or country areas can be stressful. True. Trying to decide what to make for dinner, trying to deal with increasing prices and decreasing returns, trying to get parts for vehicles, having to wait weeks for their delivery, or just some minor examples of what can cause stress. So this is going to help with stress. Okay, so the relaxation ritual um, is perhaps the best way of getting rid of stress, but to do a good job may take more time and you have that you have available. Thus, to remedy this problem, he says, I am presenting here what I call the instant relaxation ritual. It is not meant to replace the relaxation ritual, which is the one that I just mentioned, um, but can take its place occasionally when you are short of time. It is also a good way to get rid of stress in your everyday life. So you can use this in conjunction with all of our practices that we have already incorporated into our sessions. So. So, 
the instant relaxation ritual. So, this can be done standing, sitting, or lying down. Don't fall asleep. So, step one. Start by tensing all of the muscles in your feet and ankles. Don't get a Charlie horse. Those hurt. So tense them up, just not too much, just enough. Step two. Without relaxing the tension in your feet, tense the muscles of your calves. Step three. In a similar manner, tense the muscles of your thighs, hips, stomach, chest, back, arms, hands, neck, and your head. So I guess that would be tensing up all of your facial muscles and your head muscles. So, where did I go? Okay, in other words, tense every muscle in your body starting at the feet and ending up with the head. Hold your body in this totally tensed condition for five to ten seconds only. That is because you will get Charlie horses, and those are sons of a whore. I hate Charlie horses, they're terrible. So, step four, suddenly relax all of your muscles at the same time. Permit your body to go as limp as the position you are in will allow. So if you're lying down, just totally relax just release totally release all right so step five with your mind you're gonna look with your mind through your body for any tension so be especially aware of the neck forehead and shoulders stomach and lower back this is where a lot of us carry our tension and our stress i carry my stress on my shoulders and my neck so if there's any tension immediately send the golden glow of the relaxation ritual to that area and the tension will fade. So, caution. Here's a caution that he gives. Donald Michael Craig. One of the best books ever. Alright, so caution. This technique is psychologically oh, physiologic, physiologically and as well psychological. The sudden changes in muscle tension and its sudden release may, in a very few people, cause a muscle spasm commonly known as a charley horse. If this occurs, stop immediately and deeply massage the area until the spasm ends. Then do the regular the regular relaxation ritual as soon as possible. If you are a person who gets charley horse, do not shy away from using this technique. Only wait once your body becomes used to the sudden changes in body and muscle tension, the spasms should cease and you will have a wonderful and fast system of relaxation and stress reduction. So that can be applied to anything in your entire life. Not just Ouija, but this. Just everything. So that's the simple, very simple instant relaxation ritual. So, that is what I wanted to go over with you guys today. I will blog this so you guys know, but you guys already know. So it's very simple. I will blog that for you guys, definitely. And if you guys don't have this book, I suggest that you get it. I got this for $4 um, online, the used bookstore. Where did I get it? I don't know where I got it. It's from a used bookstore, though. So, very good. A very good technique to try. So, what do you guys think? I just need your feedback, all of your information, all of your input, what you're thinking, all of it. That's what I need. So, I think it'll be great. It will be very great. And this is not drying. I'm getting quite anxious because I am dying to see how this is going to turn out. I think that's going to be amazing. So, we have that to look forward to. Um, more stuff went up in the shop, so uh, my site should work for all Canadians. Um, Mr. Weech's Spiritual Goods and Curiosities.GoDaddySites.com um, That is where the book is, too, for um, Love Letters from Lucifer. So just really take advantage of that if you want to before I get in trouble. <laughs> I mean, it's my book, so... Um, but yes, I've ordered um, a few copies for people that want, and it will be delivered sooner than later. So... Let me check and see if they have shit. 
Um, let me check real quick and see if any of them have shipped. I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's see. Where did, when did I order? I ordered them last night. So, let's see. Okay, so for one book is $8.55. So, that is my price for you guys. So you guys can get this at my price. So, shipping is $4.18, tax collected $1.20, uh, and it comes to, you know, two books is $22.48 for um, um, Love Letters from Lucifer. So, it doesn't tell me when it's going to be delivered. Shoot. Estimated delivery date seven twelve, So, they should be here on the 12th. Quite exciting. Quite exciting. Very exciting. So, I can't wait for the Ouija book to be done. So, I need to get on that. And it's, it's, it's really good so far. I can't believe that that actually is coming from me. I'm like, wow. <laughs> That's different. That's completely different than what I would usually normally write. But it's coming together very well. I'm very, very pleased with all of it. So yes, um, books will go out tomorrow. Um, the bracelets, I love how you guys are picking up the bracelets and pendants. I love that. So make sure that you know that the pendants can now come on this. I can customize these for you. Whatever you want. I can maybe do I'll try my best. So, uh, we've gone over, gosh, we have done a lot in Ouija Boot Camp. We have done a lot. Some of the posts I've had to make public, um, because Rosemary, although you are a patron, for some reason she cannot see um, a patron-only posts. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I know last night somebody was trying to do a patron page. Excuse me. Uh, Patron was down for maintenance for a couple hours last night, so that's why you were getting error messages from the Patron thing. So it was down, and it came back up today. It was yeah, it was back up this morning. How am I gonna keep quit picking at that? It was back up this morning. So um, Lisa, Melissa, yes, you can actually be a, become a patron. So yeah, it's, it's, it was because they were down, it was scheduled maintenance, so all that good stuff. But Patreon is a very amazing way to get your work out there and to make a, a, a few dollars from, you know, your creations. So it's very, very amazing. It's very helpful. So it's just, it's, it's a really amazing community. Um, I have quite the amazing patrons. You guys are incredible. Um, we have reached this month. I have reached my goal, so you guys will be getting your rewards, patrons, so expect that, expect your rewards, so it's just a very amazing place, a very nice space to create and to share and do all your work, and there's so much amazing stuff on there, and it's just so many artists, so many people are on there, you would not believe, so um, I do pledge you know, a dollar here, a dollar there every month for certain patrons that I really like. Um, and yeah, which is, it's, it's that good feeling, that really good feeling of you, you know, when you get that good feeling that, hey, I helped that person reach their goal. That's exactly how I feel. I'm like, oh, when I see their post, I've reached my goal. I think, oh, thank God. I love it. I love to see these people succeed. It is seriously amazing. So, that is what Patreon is all about. So, um, I don't know if I... I actually want to do live stream off there. Don't know how. But I do want to live stream from my GoDaddy site. So definitely that will be happening soon. Definitely. So keep looking back. Um, I keep adding new things nightly for the GoDaddy page in the shop. Um, my blog in there. There's two blogs. There's one blog that will take you directly to my Go Patreon site and you can see those blogs or you can just kind of browse through the blogs on the uh, the actual site itself on GoDaddy so you have a few options at the top 
um, I'm sure it's up the top. Um, there's Home Shop and a couple others, blogs, and one of them will take you to my Patreon site. So, very, very easy to navigate. Very easy to order. Um, I will have um, a square set up so people can use um, all major credit cards. No, no checks, none of that. So, it will be, it. I'm sprucing it up, trying to. So, hopefully you guys like it. But, alright guys. Uh, I have to get going, I have to get ready for this new therapy, EDMR, I don't know what to expect, I'm nervous, I don't like this, not at all, so, alright guys, um, if you have any questions, email me, let me know, let me know how you're doing Ouija wise, um, let me know if you need anything, um, new pendants, anything, new bracelets, so, uh, Lupe, your order is going out tomorrow. It's finished. I can't wait. I had to add one final finished touch. And it's perfect. It came out perfectly. So, I'm very excited for that. I can't wait for you to get your order. So, alright guys. I love you all with all my heart. All the way from Venus. All the way back down. So... Everybody have a good weekend. Happy 4th of July to everybody. Um, be careful. Be safe. Always be safe. And I will see you all tomorrow. Yeah, definitely tomorrow. So, Alright guys, I love you all. And thank you guys for watching.